Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for April 10th, read by Buddy C. from Atlanta, Georgia. AA Thoughts for the Day Earnestness An alcoholic in his cups is an unlovely creature. Our struggles with them are variously strenuous, comic, and tragic. One poor chap committed suicide in my home. He could not, or would not, see our way of life. There is, however, a vast amount of fun about it all. I suppose some would be shocked at our seeming worldliness and levity. But just underneath, there is a deadly earnestness. Faith has to work 24 hours a day in and through us, or we perish. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 16. Thought to Consider Laughter is the sound effect of recovery. Acronyms Dead Drinking ends all dreams. Just for today, message from the Three Legacies of Alcoholics Anonymous. Three blocks away from the main office, we have a good-sized loft space where all shipping and mailing is done. This activity now runs into tons of material a month. Six busy lads spend full time at it. Last year, they shipped over 40,000 books and hundreds of thousands of pamphlets, many of them newly designed and edited largely through the work of Ralph, our consultant on pamphlet literature. They mailed about 30,000 letters and bulletins and did huge quantities of mimeographing, circa 1959. From Alcoholics Anonymous Comes of Age, page 207. Daily Reflections Growing Up The essence of all growth is a willingness to change for the better and then an unremitting willingness to shoulder whatever responsibility this entails. As Bill sees it, page 115. Sometimes when I've become willing to do what I should have been doing all along, I want praise and recognition. I don't realize that the more I'm willing to act differently, the more exciting my life is. The more I'm willing to help others, the more rewards I receive. That's what practicing the principles means to me. Fun and benefits for me are in the willingness to do the actions not to get immediate results. Being a little kinder, a little slower to anger, a little more loving makes my life better day by day. As Bill sees it, the forgotten mountain. When I was a child, I acquired some of the traits that had a lot to do with my insatiable craving for alcohol. I was brought up in a little town in Vermont, under the shadow of Mount Aeolus. An early recollection is that of looking up at this vast and mysterious mountain, wondering what it meant and whether I could ever climb that high. But I was presently distracted by my aunt who, as a fourth birthday present, made me a plate of fudge. For the next 35 years, I pursued the fudge of life and quite forgot about the mountain. A.A. comes of age, pages 52 to 53. When self-indulgence is less than ruinous, We have a milder word for it. We call it taking our comfort. 12 and 12, page 67. Big Book Quote Thus was I convinced that God is concerned with us humans when we want Him enough. At long last, I saw, I felt, I believed. Scales of pride and prejudice fell from my eyes. A new world came into view. Alcoholics Anonymous, Bill's Story, page 12. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. When I came into AA, I came into a new world, a sober world, a world of sobriety, peace, serenity, and happiness. But I know that if I take just one drink, I'll go right back into that old world, that alcoholic world, that world of drunkenness, conflict, and misery. That alcoholic world is not a pleasant place for an alcoholic to live in. Looking at the world through the bottom of a whiskey glass is not fun after you've become an alcoholic. Do I want to go back to that alcoholic world? Meditation for the day. Pride stands sentinel at the door of the heart and shuts out the love of God. 
God can only dwell with the humble and the obedient. Obedience to God's will is the key unlocking the door to God's kingdom. You cannot obey God to the best of your ability without in time realizing God's love and responding to that love. The rough stone steps of obedience lead up to where the mosaic floor of love and joy is laid. Where God's Spirit is, there is your home. There is heaven for you. Prayer for the day. I pray that God may make his home in my humble and obedient heart. I pray that I may obey his guidance to the best of my ability. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Buddy, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.